Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake Hey, Tag, and today we're back at it again with a different type of Three Musketeer deck. In this deck, you're going to end up having the Dark Goblin and the Guards. Traditionally, in the Cycle Three Musketeer deck, you would have the Royal Ghost and Skeletons, but we ramped it up. We put in Guards, and we also put in the Dark Goblin, because the Dark Goblin got buffed. We also have more Log Bait in this deck, and I feel like Skeletons just were not Log Bait, so you need to put in Guards instead of Skellies. Check out this deck for 12 Win Grand Challenges, or hit up the ladder and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comments section. I'm gonna end up going for three Musketeers in the back. This dude just goes in for an Ice Wizard, so we're gonna have to wait and see. He's gonna go NATO everything together, and he's gonna NATO and Poison or Fireball. We'll see. Whichever one floats his boat. Maybe he goes in for a Valk or something, because he hasn't poisoned yet. Oh, he's got Bowler. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Hog Rider right in front, see if this will actually work out. I don't want the Bowler to hit everything at once. He's gonna go for a Royal Ghost, which is brutal on us. And fortunately, we're gonna get some nice damage with that Hog. That Hog got a lot of hits because he doesn't have NATO in cycle. That got three hits. It went hammering time on him. That's great. So this might be a Bowler NATO Graveyard deck. We'll have to wait and see. We might have Freeze. I just wanna go in for Dark Goblin here, Poison here, and then go in for Guard Surround on top of the Bowler to minimize the amount of damage. And it looks like he does have Freeze. So thankfully, I did go in for the Poison. Maybe he's gonna get some damage, but he's not gonna take our tower. There's no chance. And he's already saying good game because he overextended there and he thinks that we just win now. But I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if we just win. I think we definitely played well. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's interesting to see that people are running Ice Wizard Bowler Graveyard, like how it was a long time ago. That used to be meta. But I end up going in for the Hog. If he ends up natoing this to King, then he can't nato the Three Musketeers. So we'll see. And I still get a hit with that, so I'm okay with it. I go and split my three muskies. It's probably going to bowler in the lane of the two. You no, know, he bowlers in the lane of the one to minimize the damage there. Okay. It's interesting, sir. I'm going to go for a barbarian barrel here, so then bowler targets that, hopefully, and he goes in for guards. So he's playing pretty well. Obviously, I can't do too much about this. I need to go in for a hunter here. I need to go in for an ice comb to make sure that the... Baby Dragon doesn't go hard in the paint on us. I'm going to go in for Guards and Dark Goblin. I'm going to spread them out so he doesn't get some absurd value natoing and then freezing everything. Oh, he still might. Still might freeze it. We'll see. He does freeze it, but there's only one skeleton alive. So that one little Larry is going to get some damage, but it's not going to be an incredible amount of damage. I'm going to go in for a Hog Rider since he just used his nato. So we are guaranteed damage. I'm also going to go in for a Poison because I know that, hey, you're not going to be able to successfully rattle off a Graveyard here and go in for a Freeze and get an absurd amount of damage when... You're just down so much elixir, especially when I go for three musketeers. So I was really just begging him to go in for the graveyard there, and he didn't do it because he's actually a very good player. His mechanics are on point, as shown by his NATO, his first play of the game. I don't know. He's a, he's a pretty good player, so I wouldn't put too much past him here. End up going in for an ice golem. I'm just spreading out everything. I need to end up going in for a barbarian barrel just to minimize the skeleton hits. And it looks like my muskies on the left hand side are going hard in the paint. So he did a pretty good job on offense, but on defense, it was quite lackluster. I'm just going to go for three Musketeers. I'm going to eat up a little bit of damage on the left, because guess what? It doesn't matter. The strongest tower, or the weakest tower, is the only one that matters in this case, right? And tower on the right was way weaker. So he went in for a bowler. We'll see what he does here. He's probably going to end up going in for Royal Ghost. I really want to apply some aggression here. Hopefully we can get those guards and kill... Okay, I'm going to go for a poison as well. I just want to get damaged right here, right now. I think that those muskies, if they lock, we win the game. So, yeah, that Dark Goblin just went hard in the paint on this, sir. So I need to stop that from crossing the river. That's a fact. I can go for guards as well, and then I need to go for a barb barrel. If that gets stopped from crossing the river, we do win the game. I'm going to go for the Hog Rider, just to apply some aggression. He's probably going to NATO that. Maybe he just lets it go. Yeah, should you. This guy's a very good player too, and this is a hard fought battle. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, we got a game. We're gonna be saucing out of good luck here. I'm gonna go in for a Hog Rider as my starting play. He's gonna go in for a Baby Dragon, so it's probably gonna be a Gold deck. Very few decks in the game right now end up having a Baby Dragon, but he's actually gonna have Pekka. That's definitely interesting. I want to go in for three Musketeers, and then I want to kite the Pekka into the three Muskies. It's gonna be our best bet at defending. The two Muskies are gonna be able to deal with uh, the Pekka. Eat a little bit of baby dragon damage, but I think in the long term, this is just building up a fetch, uh, much better push than I otherwise would have had. So, it's gonna have fireball with this too, which is incredibly unfortunate for us, but I'll have to deal with that. Musketeer on the right is gonna do a lot of damage. 
When you're playing three Musketeers, one of the best things that you could possibly do against a huge tank push is splitting one of the Musketeers towards the huge unit, whether it's a Golem or a P.E.K.K.A. And then you kite the P.E.K.K.A. or all their supporting units of the Golem into your two Musketeers. If they fireball the two Musketeers, generally that's going to be the tower that is going to be healthier for you because they're going to be going after the weaker tower. So then what ends up happening is they don't really touch the one Musketeer and you're going to be able to get value off that. I'll go for 3M here. And we'll see what's up, see what he wants to do. He's gonna use his Valkyrie. He might pack up, but if he packs, yeah, dude, that's a lot of elixir. I wish I had hogged on that side in front of that one musky. That would've been super nice, obviously. The other one was just gonna die. I don't know why he just dropped bats on top of that. That's incredibly good for us. And we end up taking a tower, so that's good. We see Pekka and Fireball and Valkyrie. This dude really hates three Musketeers. <laughs> like if he has a deck that he doesn't want to play against, it would be three Musketeers. So, yeah, he's just like, yo, you can put every single counter in the book against 3M in my deck. Go for another Hunter in the back just to play a little bit defensive here. I don't know what he's going to spam at us, but I know the Hunter will be able to stop it in his tracks. If he fireballs the Hunter, it's really good for us because we have three Musketeers. Obviously, he wants to save his fireball for that. I'm going to go in for another set of 3M. He fireballs the Hunter, as I said before. If he fireballs that, really bad trade for him. He's going to go for the offensive ice wizard because there's not too much he can do. He's just really getting greedy here. He's getting greedy for that damage, boys. He's going to probably Valkyrie on top. So I want to go for a Hunter here. And then I want to go for a Hog Rider. Yeah, he Valks right on top of the Hunter. That's beautiful for us. Good night. Hog Rider is still out here. I kind of want to go for an Ice Golem and maybe apply even more aggression. Not sure if it's going to work, but I kind of want to 3 crown him. I'm going to go and split 3 Musketeers. I'm going to split 1 towards the... Lane of the uh, seven higher damage. He ends up fireballing everything but that. Okay. Can I do this? Let's see if this Dark Goblin is actually able to hit the tower. Does. He does not block it. No hog here. Just to try to assert dominance with a clean 2 0 victory. Don't think it's going to happen, but it was close. GG. Well played. And peace out, Girl Scout. All right. We're going to end up going for a nice comb in the back. And we got a game against Ragnarok X. I'm going to go in for good luck. And I'm going to go for a hog off his lane because he's going to go in for archers. He's probably going to set up a Tesla. And then he'll go in for an expo after. No. So this is interesting. Seeing archers in a deck that isn't expo. I guess after the buff, some people are going to be running that. But it's uh, definitely preferred to be an expo deck. So he's going to end up having a lot of bait elements to the deck. I'm going to end up going in for guards here. I'm going for a barb barrel to make sure that the guards are going to stay alive a little bit longer. Getting more value out of them. Always pretty nice. And then he has the rail recruits. So seeing rail recruits, definitely not something that I really want to see. But I can definitely go for three muskies and then ice golem to block the archers hopefully. Oh my gosh, one of the archers gets on top of my tower. Disastrous amounts of damage. And the Royal Recruits Fireball combination. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what I didn't want to see. Royal Recruits and Fireball, two of the best answers in the game right now to Three Musketeers. See if we can win this. I'm going to go for Hog because I want to be able to protect the two Musketeers, bait out some more units from them. He ends up going for a uh, simple Barbarian Barrel. He doesn't have any Elixir because he has all the answers, guys, but he doesn't have Elixir, so our Hog Rider does get a ton of damage. That is decent for me. I'm going to go Dark Goblin on Dark Goblin action. So then we can use our tower as a resource to keep ours alive a little bit longer. Don't want to use our Bard Barrel just yet because he's going to have Goblin Gang and he also ends up having Royal Recruits. So the thing is, he's going to Fireball the Three Musketeers. I can't drop them on offense. I have to use them as a way to mitigate and preclude any potential of him going offensive with Royal Recruits. You don't drop Royal Recruits, a slow moving unit, right into Three Musketeers. I guess he does, but it's not a play that should be made. It is something that is favorable for me. So hopefully he does that again. I'm going to go for a hog. Maybe he fireballs this. And then my three musketeers are free reign on the towers. Yo, he just gave up. He aborted this mission. He knew it was over. So we did win this game. And uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting to see a Royal Recruit player just with fireball end up losing to three musketeers. But it happened. GG. Well played and peace out, Real Scout. All right, we're going to end up going for an ice goal in the back. We're going to see what's up. This dude is not dropping anything at all, so it's going to be interesting. Oh, that's okay. I don't really want to go into that, so I'm just going to drop a Hunter. Battle Ram it is, so I actually have to go in for a Barbarian Barrel, and I also have to go in for uh, Dark Goblin and Guards. I have to make sure that I defend this. So after we see all those cards, it's very indicative of a Three Musketeer Giant deck. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. I don't have enough Elixir for a Hog Rider, so I'm just not going to do it. Awesome. Dude, just going in for the Minion Horde right on top of the Hunter. It feels great. That's what I wanted to see. 
So we know that he has three Musketeers, Giant, and you know, he doesn't have Zap and Psych because he used it. Collector as well, and Bats. He's gonna Bats this. Yep. So three Musketeers, Giant. It's just not dropping any of the cards I would expect. I'm gonna end up going in for a cycle of Ice Golem because I can't let those Bats get on top. If he Zaps and the Bats are on top of the Hunter, I lose the game. 100% lost that if I didn't drop the Ice Golem. It was completely necessary. Protecting your Hunter is pivotal against Bad Rim and uh, Bats pushes. I've learned that the hard way. When one bad interaction like that happens to you, then you realize, hey, the Hunter doesn't pierce through the Battle Ram to actually hit all of that. So, yeah. I don't have Fireball, so I don't have a great way of immediately killing three Musketeers when they're dropped in one lane, so that's something that he probably knows here. I'm gonna go for Dark Goblin. Make sure that we deal with the Minion Horde from a uh, distance, get even more value. Don't really care about the bats at all. I could just ignore the uh, minions. It's not too much damage. I'd rather mitigate his elixir advantage so he doesn't get an overwhelming presence on the map that I'm not able to deal with later on. So, taking a little bit of damage for the long run win. That's what I'm about, boys. Three, I'm all in one lane because I know that he doesn't actually end up having any way of dealing with it. Just gonna go Hunter opposite. Wait for the Goblin Gang, I'm going to Battle Ram it, or uh, Barbarian Barrel it. Yeah, 3 for him. Okay, here we go. So as soon as that pops and it walks up, there we go. We go for Guards and Barbarian Barrel. We end up clobbering the 3 Musketeers, and we out-tank him. So we do win this. This is a pretty good matchup for us, but way, way, way better if we have Fireball. Automatic win if we have Fireball. So I'm going to end up dropping another Hog Rider here, and I think that we're just able to apply Aggression and mount a serious push. If he goes in for our, uh, well, he's just, yeah, he's just going to keep going in. But he doesn't have log, and he doesn't have any way of combating our Dark Goblin and guards. So we do win this game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. It was a pleasure playing against you. Much love, brother. I don't think the, yeah, the poison does actually through crown him. That's crazy. <laughs> GG, well played, and peace out, bro. All right, zero skill deck more than I did until that video. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people hated it, though. All right, we got it. <laughs> We're actually playing the zero skill deck right here, right now, dude. You're talking about it, and then we play it. Okay, it's gonna 3M. Get some counter push potential on him. It's gonna Fireball, okay. Fireball is pretty obnoxious. See if he has any way of dealing with the two muskies though. I think they're just gonna kill a lot of barbs before they actually end up dying. The Dark Goblin there. Dark Goblin dies to the muskie. Barb girls, okay. Now he has no way of dealing with the Dark Goblin, which is good for us. We're going for my own bar barrel on top of his. Barbarians are gone. Cool. Alright, so he has Goblin Gang and Cycle and Archers most likely, but he has Fireball, which is making this deck a little bit more interesting. Alright. Actually, no, this is just their original. No poison, just Fireball. Alright, so what do you want to do here? I'm going to Hog. See if he has enough elixir for the barbarian hunt. He does actually. I think the archers end up dying. He had a little bit of chip damage on the tower. One of the archers does die. Good for me. Me going for Dark Goblin because I know he's gonna end up having a battle ram soon. I actually have to go for Ice Golem here. Didn't want to. Did not want to at all. But Ice Golem is gonna be tanking for quite a while, so those barbs should end up dying here without too much disturbance. Did fireball that Dark Goblin, so now I can end up going in for three muskies. Want to wait though. Yep. So I wanted to see if he was going to do that, and he ended up doing it. Wow, we actually did not end up hitting the Battle Ram in time. That's super unfortunate. He's giving us a little BM for it too. <laughs> what a savage. Super happy. And I end up going for guards here. Hopefully I can get a Hog Rider right in front. Going for another Dark Goblin. Trying to minimize the amount of damage that he could get on us. Is that Archer? Dude, that Archer actually ended up killing that. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Muskie is still alive, though. Go split the three Muskies. I think we have an Elixir advantage. I really want to be on this guy if I win. He's got Row Recruit, so he can just drop that right on top of us, which is incredibly unfortunate. I'm going to go Bar Barrel here, in case he was uh, He did it early, which is a misplay, actually. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Dark Goblin ends up dying, which is really nice. Keeping our Dark Goblin alive is pivotal in winning this. He fireballs. 
Dude, I wouldn't expect the fireball there. I wasn't really expecting that at all. Gonna go for a hunter and a barbarian barrel right on top. So he overcommitted. It's good for us. He's super aggressive. So I can definitely win this. He's not playing this correctly. <laughs> Which is insane a lot, right? Like, it's hard to play this wrong. Really hard to play this deck incorrectly. Gonna fireball again. Okay. He's gonna probably barbaro again on that, so I don't even wanna like, try to defend that. I'm gonna do it early. Something crazy. The hog here? Maybe he doesn't. Keep that alive a little bit longer. Make him do it. Dark Goblin. Barbaro's on like the weirdest thing ever. Thankfully we get a hit off. Oh, I should have hogged. Keeping that Dark Goblin alive was nice. Oof. He's still being feisty here, boys. I think that musky does end up getting away. Zero hits against that barb. No, it gets one. Oh! Let's go. That barb hut does not actually pull. It's gonna go for a goblin gang. No, real recruits, okay. Get some damage for sure. For sure, for sure. Guards again. Barb barrel here. He just fireballed. What a ferocious fellow. I'm going to Ice Golem and then go for a Hog Rider. I need to get a Hunter down right now, right here. <laughs> Please, Hunter. Defend the Virginity. I think that we might actually take it with Hog Rider. One more Hog Rider hit and we take him. I don't know what happened there, but peace out, Girl Scout. Oh, glad to win that one. That's a good one.